Hey guys, welcome to another lunch hour review. Today I'm gonna try this place called Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's now open because it's brand new. Um, so I know they have a few locations of this around the country. So uh, they just opened one here. So I thought I'd run in and uh, order and I'll be back. Okay, so here's what I ordered. I got a smoothie. It's called the Beach Bum, I believe. I'll, I'll talk about it in just a second. Um, a flatbread and I got two cookies, a snickerdoodle cookie and a chocolate chip cookie. And um, yeah, I'll tell you everything about it in just a second. Let me get turned around and uh, I'll tell you prices and what the actual names of them are. All right, so I got the uh, the flatbread, which I'm, I'm gonna try first, is the Chipotle Chicken Club flatbread. It's uh, grilled chicken, bacon, tomatoes, which I don't see a lot. I mean, there's a couple little pieces of tomato, I guess, on there. Romaine lettuce, pepper jack, pepper jack cheese, and a Chipotle mayo. So that's what's on that. It was um, $6.99. Um, then I got the Beach Bum um, smoothie. It came with a combo. So you get the sandwich and the smoothie. So the smoothie was $4.59. Um, and I only saw one size. And it uh, The Beach Bum is strawberry, banana, and chocolate. And he said, do you want white chocolate or um, dark chocolate? And I said white chocolate. So I got a Beach Bum with white chocolate. And then the two cookies, the chocolate chip cookie and the snickerdoodle was $1.99 each. So, so basically $2 each. So my total uh, before tips and tax and all that stuff, it was fifteen fifty six. So, and then, you, like I said, you'll have to add whatever tip or tax or whatever you want to add. You have to do that on your own. So I'm going to try the flatbread. It looks really good. Um, it's definitely like a, almost like a pita type bread. It's not, it's more like a non bread, but it's big. Um, it's a flatbread and it's uh, got all the stuff in it and it's folded over. My only complaint that I can see really is the chicken and the, and the lettuce and stuff are everywhere, but the sauce looks like it's just in the middle. So I don't see a lot of sauce spread out to the edges and the bacon as well. The bacon's pretty much all in the center, but, um, and it's very well grilled. You can see the grill marks on it. So here we go. It has a really good flavor. They also had, um, for sides, you could pick that chip, a uh, bag of chips. Um, they also had some kind of um, sweet potatoes, and they also had like a jalapeno corn, with grilled corn, which is like a grilled corn with a had um, um, like a chipotle mayo in there. So that, that might be good if, that, if you're interested in that. I just, I didn't get a side. I just got the cookies. Um, the flavor is really good. I like the, um, I really like the Chipotle mayo in there. It's really, um, it's got some kick to it, but it's good and smoky and peppery at the same time. The flatbread itself has a, this little, like a gritty texture on the outside, like it's um, almost cornmeal or flour. Um, it's coating the whole outside, which is not bad. I'm just saying, I'm just letting you know it's, it's like that. Yeah, there's not a lot, a lot of sauce, for mine at least, there's not a lot of sauce um, once you get past the fold, like on the, like, like on this part up, from here up, there's really no sauce. It's just chicken and lettuce. Um, but, am I lost a piece less? But I do like it when you get the sauce. It's really, really good. Chicken's good and tender. I got a little bit, you got tomato in that white. Um, that was really good. You had the tomato and the lettuce and the chicken and the chipotle mayo. Um, a little touch of bacon. Combo's really, really nice. Um, that flatbread is awesome. It's not um, it's not hard or crunchy or tough or, or chewy or anything like that. It's very, very soft um, bread. I, I love, I mean, you can just tear it right off. Um, it's really, really soft. It has like a little, it has like a little crust on it that has just a slight chew to it, but it's not like it's tough or, or really hard to eat. That's really, really nice. And I could sit here, like I said, the only com my only complaint is I really wish they'd spread the sauce on the whole thing before they folded it. That would have been a better experience as far as flavor goes. Although I do have to say, I mean, that would be my complaint. They really need to make sure the sauce is covering the whole thing. 
um, or half of the buffet fold up. However, the grilled chicken has such a good flavor that honestly, it's okay because the while the sauce and the bacon do add a lot of flavor to it, um, the chicken is really good on its own. It has that really good grilled chicken flavor with uh, some spices and stuff to it. Nothing hot, but just a little bit of spice to it, like salt and pepper, that kind of thing. So it has a really good flavor. Um, the chipotle sauce is a little spicy, not, um, it's not ridiculously hot. So like, um, like pepper jack cheese, for instance, is hotter than this. I, I think that, that would be a much hotter uh, thing than this. And you know, it said it had pepper jack cheese on it. I don't actually see cheese, but um, I'm sure it's there somewhere. I just don't, it might be mixed in with the chicken now that I'm looking at it. Um, the chicken itself might have the pepper jack laid on top of it when it's grilled and then they scoop it up, put it in the, in the bread. So, um, the, the pepper jack cheese or yeah, pepper jack cheese could be in the sandwich itself. Um, really good. I really like the sandwich. I would give that sandwich probably a good solid, the way it's made, I would give it, um, a, a good four and a half. If it had been like spread everywhere, had more sauce and bacon in it, I probably would have given it a five, but, but as it is. It's a four and a half. Um, let me try the smoothie. And again, this is a strawberry banana and, and white chocolate. It's very thick, almost like a milkshake. If they you drank that really fast, you would get an instant headache because I'm starting to get just a little bit of that that pain or not pain but just like little pressure back in the back of my throat where it would develop into pain um if you kept like just sucking it down i do have to say though, that smoothie's really really good most of what i get i mean honestly 99.9 percent .9 is strawberry and a banana an equal mix of both of those i don't really get chocolate although it might have some chocolate in there i just don't i don't taste it Maybe if I'd gotten like a regular, like a darker chocolate, it would have, I would probably try darker chocolate uh, if I went back and got another one of these. But um, yeah, I really do like it. I like the flavor and I like the texture, which is, um, which is really, really good. It's very, very, very smooth, uh, very well mixed up. So I'm gonna try the, one of these chocolate chip cookies. It says it's 350 calories by itself. So if you're going to a smoothie place, you're probably not getting cookies probably too often, but you never know. Um, there's what it looks like. It's got a little bit of chocolate on the back too. Doesn't feel too awfully bad. It's it's kind of got a, um, I won't say it's dry, but it's a little dry. Don't think it is. The chocolate comes across as more of a, a darker chocolate. Let me see. Bittersweet. It's unsweetened chocolate chips. So, and it comes across as a darker chocolate chip. It's not like a, um, it's not even a semi-sweet chocolate. It's more of a, like a dark chocolate. I like the flavor of these. Um, I don't think this is why you're going there. This is not what I, I wouldn't go out of my way to get these cookies, or at least a chocolate chip cookie. Um, it's okay, but it's, it is a little dry, and um, the flavor is 90% dark chocolate, and I would rather have a semi-sweet chocolate or even a milk chocolate. Drop, drop the cookie bag. Um, here's the snickerdoodle. And it has a little uh, cinnamon sugar on top of it. Much softer. Mm. Now I like that one quite a bit. It's a softer cookie. It's also more like crumbly, but it has a really nice uh, cinnamon sugar flavor without being overpoweringly cinnamon. Mm. I really like that. That's a, that's an excellent cookie. I'm gonna compare it to like. I mean, it's not the same as like a crumble cookie or anything, but 
Um, if you're there and you want something sweet and you don't want to get a smoothie, um, I think the Snickerdoodle cookie is better than the chocolate chip. The chocolate chip is just a little too dark for me and you don't really get that sweet, um, buttery, salty flavor that a really good chocolate chip cookie has. You don't have that in this. So it's, it's okay, but it's just not great. The Snickerdoodle though is really, really good. So I would give the chocolate chip cookie a three. I would give the Snickerdoodle a four and I would give that smoothie probably a four and a half because I really wish the chocolate came through more. But like I said, that could have been my choice of the white chocolate. If I'd gotten regular chocolate, it may have uh, may have come through a lot more. And they also had one that was called a peanut butter smoothie and like peanut butter and chocolate and banana, I think in it. And it sounded good too, but I chose this one instead of that one. So overall, really good experience. Definitely the flatbread's really, really good. They also had a, um, um, a quesadilla that sounded really, really good. Um, I may get that if I come here again. So anyway, yeah, definitely worth trying out. If you have one in your area you've never been, you should try it out. Uh, if you have been, what's your favorite thing to get? Let me know what you, what you think, and uh, I'll catch you next time.